So that leads to one more revelation actually that since there is no good and bad in the universal mind, it is unconditional, nirpeksh and therefore that explains and the proclivity of certain people to worship so called negative there are worshippers of demons also just like there are worshipers worshippers of gods why are they called demons why are they pictured in a ugly way this is the doing of those who worship the gods they have put those icons there they do not like them that's all and now you can use intellect to find out what is really happening here in our human society it does not really matter actually <laughs> but uh, when one culture attacks the other culture what do they do first thing to do is demonize them they paint them in a negative picture now it doesn't matter how good these um, attacked people are and the first thing they will do is paint them as inferior the propaganda is these people are inferior they are demons they are not of our religion and look at their gods they are praying to demons so you know these middle eastern attackers they did the same thing to indians and then the british also did the same thing so demonized everything in india including their temples their gods and all and that gives them um, advantage and that gives them a uh, license to kill these demons so let us kill them they're negative they're not of our type they do not worship my god so i am now free to kill them my god will support me in killing them so the spanish did this to south americans it is the it is the same story everywhere actually <laughs> same story so this is the first thing any tribe will do in order to overpower the other tribe so the cults that uh, started worshiping something else not the gods that were what do you call recommended that will that were enforced upon the public by the so called priests and ruling class they were demonized now nobody knows if they are real demons or not i don't think there is such a thing there is both positive and negative in every mind including this mind which i call my mind and it must be your own experience sometimes it is devilish very evil mind sometimes very innocent like a child very very pure and loving same mind as you know there is no such a thing as a mind the activity of the mind is the mind itself no activity no mind this mind is the demon this mind is the god another revelation those people who are worshiping so called demons not are not worshiping demons suddenly you are free from the conditioning you see suddenly you are free from the brainwashing of the attackers of the ruling class of the priest class who want to keep you under their claws for whatever reason you see if somebody tells you look this is demonic don't worship don't go there now if you have nothing to do with <laughs> spiritual matters you don't go there that will be good for you but if you are a spiritual seeker put a big question mark on that why did you call the demon why are you demonizing something which somebody is loving somebody is you know it is ideal for them let us not generalize it like this that yes everything that people say is bad it can be good no it is it is not like this most of the time if somebody says it is bad it is evil you need to take some precaution do not simply put a question mark and the go ahead and you know hug the person <laughs> tantric who is doing those kind of experiments no, no no that will be stupidity but also do not believe blindly seeing the nature of the mind and seeing how people how humans the human organism functions the human organism is alive because of the deceit and lies only because of the violence only it is very hard to <laughs> survive without such tricks and they help in survival and that's why most of the people are full of lies and deceits and they are being deceived by somebody also without their knowing so only a spiritual seeker who is after truth knows these things and is freed from these things this is the freedom from the conditioning this is the freedom from the society so introspecting in this way will give you freedom 
from your beliefs now i've i've taken a very strange example of this thing positions and exorcism and demons and group minds but you you can see how how this introspection goes i don't even remember from which subject i started but this <laughs> don't worry about the demons and the bad evil entities if you uh, look into our our own culture the indian culture some deities are terrifying they look like demons to to an outsider will they will be terrified they will run away if they look at some of our deities so kali is a good example chamundi durga they are fears you cannot call them goddesses so this is just brainwashing isn't it so many big saints in india were worshippers of kali and such goddesses now there is a very fine line between kali and shakini and dakini and all those other so called demons <laughs> and some tantrics are actually after them they are worshipping them where is the line i don't see any all the negative and positive is cooked up by humans what is this universal mind no positive no negative why it allows the so called evil so called demons why why won't it simply you know smite them just kill them now you have the answers isn't it it is our own ignorance now i'm not saying that there is no evil there is no bad there is there is but it is not always that which we are fed you need to determine your own good and evil so i don't know i have a little bit of soft corner for those deities who got demonized by the attackers they have done this to their own cultures you see in the old times the witches and all those people were burnt alive because they worship something which they thought is evil so this brainwashing is a prevalent in in all the parts of the world i'm not saying only in india it is there in every culture anything that managed to get into the realms of the universal mind you will find this kind of distinction in good and bad and now what is the meaning of protecting yourself from the evil it hardly means anything isn't it now let us um, not go there because it is becoming a really a gray area now so be before the people will start calling me tantric and <laughs> demon worshiper i should i should stop here so i have seen the gods of uh, let us say south american mayan aztec such people almost look like demons to us they don't don't look this pretty <laughs> but i have seen some reactions of foreigners to the statues of ganesh for example they're scared by that statue <laughs> it looks very beautiful to us actually i have i had the pleasure of meeting some people as soon as i, I would i put a picture of some indian deity they would start feeling uncomfortable because they come from that part of the world where hinduism is demonized they do not like their generations after generations were brainwashed into thinking the other cultures they worship demons you are superior because you worship my god this god is the true god it's so on now being a spiritual seeker is this is very sad and when i see this thing it is very very sad but what can we do all we can do is remain free from this conditioning somebody tells them this is bad this is good don't simply assume it to be true i am not saying that go and experiment with the evil do not even experiment with the good you don't know how how good that is you don't know that and that's why whenever i mention about any occult experiment i see i say do not do this without a master do not venture into occult without a guru the guru found out what is good what is bad there is a long tradition behind the guru who has done these experiments since thousands of years they know where to go so hopefully this aimless drifting has given you new ideas which i don't think you will find in any book all books are biased books all views opinions are biased opinions there is a tiny bit that is based on experimentation yes there are many paths but they are all called isms of some kind but uh, they all merge into oneness not two those who know not two they don't worship anything they don't follow any isms 
they may study them but they don't uh, commit themselves to orthodox or fundamentalism so a spiritual seeker is like, is like this learns from everybody but uh, straight you know like an arrow will head to the truth what is the truth everybody who searches the truth they are not going to find different kind of truth it is only one if it is many that means it is not true and that's why these religions and philosophies they are not true they are half truths they are like various uh, parts of the elephant you can say where the blind people are trying to find <laughs> what is this thing nobody has a full view so a seeker will head for the truth he wants to know what is this elephant he is not happy with the trunk or the leg or the tail or the ears of the elephant so when when everybody does this what will they find they are not going to find the parts they are going to find the elephant it is one that one is called sanatan dharma it is not indian it is not uh, african egyptian this or that no it is universal because in every part of this universe when a seeker has tried to find the truth they have found the sanatan dharma which is sanskrit for eternal truth that's all it means <laughs> it should not be equated with the religion which has very which are very narrow and concerned with worship materialistic in nature where people worshiping these gods they want something from them security or wealth more children more cows more power so on i have never seen anybody who worships a god for truth and a spiritual seeker does that and therefore finds the truth and then he is above all when uh, such a person is elevated to the is ascended to the highest level these gods that people worship they come to him for knowledge for liberation for mukti now i am not saying this i did not made it up it is all there in the stories now who will tell these blind people look at the stories look at the stories they worship the guru who is capable of liberating you who is capable of destroying the darkness of ignorance there is nothing more higher than this guru i am not saying this again you will find so many big people we are tiny tiny compared to them everybody has placed guru in front of everything do you see in this culture people worshiping gurus yes there are how do they worship them just like a god <laughs> give me this give me that protect me and do something for me do some magic for me is there anybody who goes to the guru and asks for knowledge almost zero so anyhow this is my impression probably you have more experience and uh, everybody knows these things through their experiences but it is very very interesting because in these uh, half truths you will find gems of knowledge you will find some knowledge there it's not totally useless what is what is the problem people stick there they become fundamentalist they become extremists and their progress is stopped so i am not saying everybody is like this but uh, there are uh, people whose progress is totally halted because of blind beliefs because they are brought up in this environment and the parents think they are doing a great service by educating the child by indoctrin indoctrination of the child they think i'm i'm doing my job here job of the parent it's very rare for for you you will never find this thing very rare for the parents to educate the child in all the religions very rare what most of them do and they will say oh, look my religion which we are your parents is the only true one is the best one on this planet and the others they are demons don't mix with them and so on this is what happens and there's hardly any parent who will say go and go and join the other religion go and study them also i personally have never seen <laughs> including my parents although they did not force their beliefs on me they were educated enough so but whenever i took no interest in their celebrations their festivals and their pujas and all i i got this scolding 
यू नो नास्तिक वर्ड इज लाइक बैड वर्ड इन इंडिया ये तो नास्तिक है विच मीन्स ही इज अ बैड गाय नाउ for for a person of a grown up intellect very difficult to do this, all this bullshit isn't it very difficult to be a part of the crowd so ultimately you will need to adjust somehow with uh, the ignorance and that is what i have done now i have no complaints because i can see why this is happening i can see the reason for it so at least a religious person is a good person you see at least I, we think like this he is a bad person only when he is killing the fellow of other religion otherwise they are very good to their own kind <laughs> and at least they are not they are getting a little bit of indoctrination what is good and what is bad instead of totally zero instead of being being brought up like an animal so probably that is the status of our society nowadays and i i see no solution to this there is no solution to this there will be brainwashed people and there will be free people this was like this since thousands of years in all the yugas and this will be like this forever no solution at the time of krishna or ram there were demons we are in total dark ages so imagine now imagine what has happened to this what has happened to the truth i when i say true most of the people will call me crazy this has happened when i say <laughs> when i say that uh, you are wrong most of the people people are ready to kill me serving the truth is now costing you lives can you imagine now this is not something new and this is this in all the ages throughout the history the known history the unknown history the prehistory and the not so history it is the same thing and that's why i i i hear it from many many people there is nothing new under the sun if you think this is the new phenomena this is the state of the society which is now which you will find the old people saying like this or oh, in our time it was so good and now oh, well their time was also this only <laughs> it is not it's not going to change i've seen many many wise people say this 